Hello, I'm Adam Grimes, and this is going to be a short video blog looking at the relative performance of different market cap slices of the stock market. This is something people are talking about and thinking about a lot now, so let's dig just a little bit deeper. First of all, some very quick review. Market cap is simply a measure of how big a company is. It's technically calculated as a stock price times the number of shares that trade. And comparing large caps and small caps, there are a lot, there's a lot of subtlety to that division and there are many possible ways mega large you know different kinds of small caps uh, but let's just compare broadly larger to smaller large cap stocks are bigger companies small cap stocks are smaller companies large caps are generally considered to be established businesses and small caps tend to be newer more speculative companies there are some exceptions to those rules uh, large caps so are considered to be more stable and small caps are considered to have more risk because maybe the company goes out of business Business, but also maybe there's more upside because maybe the company becomes very successful. A lot of small, uh, sorry, a lot of large cap stocks at one time were small cap stocks. As the stock and the company grows, the stock moves into large cap territory. It also can work the other way, of course. Um, one key factor is that large caps tend to be very closely followed by analysts. And there are a lot of institutional funds that cannot hold small caps. They can only hold a relatively small selection of stocks. So small caps sometimes are off the radar screen and people doing fundamental work can sometimes find value in small caps. A little bit harder to do in large caps. Large caps are considered for whether this is true or not we can have a discussion about. Uh, they're considered to be safer while small caps are considered to be riskier. And that's the key factor here is that psychological division. So if you'll take a look at the chart on your screen, what you have here is a chart of the Russell 2000. This is the IWM. And the line down at the bottom is the relative performance of the IWM over the SPY. So when this line is going up, and don't worry about the value, but when the line is going up, then the smaller cap stocks are outperforming. They're going up faster than the large caps, and of course the reverse is true. And what we've seen here this year, and what people are talking about, is after a fairly extended period of outperformance, where, and I've now crunched the chart to go back to 2011, um, where small cap stocks had rallied faster, had uh, appreciated faster than large caps. Um, now this pattern seems to have changed. And f since uh, you know, the last quarter of last year it was relatively flat, and we've had a pretty serious period of underperformance in the small caps. And the people, there's a lot of discussion about this, but what you will find if you look at the historical record is that when the market goes into a declining phase, and I'll just mark a few other spots on the chart. Here's a case where it actually did not work. Um, but when the market is selling off, you will see that the small caps generally sell off faster than the large caps. And of course there are exceptions. This is not, you know, this this is not an always sort of thing. But generally speaking, when the market is in, let's say, quote, trouble, then the small caps will tend to suffer a little bit more. When the market is good and the market is rallying, then we typically will see outperformance of the small caps and that did shift in the second half of last year. And that was a warning. You know, that was that was something that we were watching and said, this is not what typically happens in a strong stock market. Uh, and if we go back just just for further illustration, you'll see here's back to 2008, 2009. And even in this very extreme environment, you'll see the same thing. Uh, as the market declines, that you will tend to see underperformance. And then when the market rallies, generally speaking, those rallies over many time frames are led by the smaller cap stocks. So this is probably a reflection of investor psychology. As the market rallies, people are feeling good about stocks and they'll tend to deploy capital in those what might be perceived as riskier sections of the market. So what we're seeing this year with the sustained underperformance of small caps, um, I don't 
think we see anything if, if we analyze this historically I don't think we see anything that's tremendously out of line with what has happened historically and I think if anything this is simply a reflection of the market being in kind of a broad and frustrating perhaps choppy trading range and that range probably started sometime in the last half of last year and that has coincided with a period of inline and then underperformance from the small caps so uh, long and short of this so to speak is I would not attach too much significance to the factors we're seeing here. Uh, this video was posted on my blog adamhgrimes.com and if you want to take a look at my research Waverly Advisors and that's Waverly Advisors with an O.com uh, publish daily research where we look at factors like this and try to keep everything in context to the big picture. Thank you very much for your time.